The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. So we're back at our agronomy uh, trials here near Cheadle, Alberta. And one of the number one questions that comes up over and over again is fertility rates. Why? Because nitrogen is the number one cost in canola production right now. So how much nitrogen do you need? The other thing that's coming up and becoming more and more front and center is emissions related to fertility. So getting fertilizer rates correct is very, very important. And canola, it needs a lot of fer fertilizer to hit target yield. So we decided that, you know, to support our industry, we needed to do new nitrogen fertility trials with the latest hybrids on the market. So this particular trial has three different hybrids and four different nitrogen rates. And our goal with that is actually to generate and update the nitrogen use efficiency curve for hybrid canola to better understand exactly how much nitrogen we need under conditions in Western Canada to produce our target yields. So this plot we're standing in right here, it actually has zero added nitrogen at the, uh, at the uh, time of seeding. And it doesn't look too bad. And the reason for that is this is flax stubble and we've got quite a bit of residual nitrogen left over from the previous season because we didn't hit our target uh, yield. So roughly 65, 70 pounds of residual nitrogen. So we're growing not too bad a uh, crop at, uh, with no nitrogen, but we won't be anywhere near, assuming it rains, uh, hitting our target yields with that base level of fer fertility. We move over to the next plot and we can see right away how we've got more biomass already. The other thing you know we can we can point out here is when we pull some of the plants, we can see that while we had some uh, some damage from flea beetle on the uh, on the plants, when we compare to see just pick this one randomly at the lower fertility level, we had more uh, damage on the plants, and that's simply because there was more biomass in the plot that had more nitrogen on it. And it's just a numbers game with flea beetles. Low biomass, low stand count, flea beetle pressure, you get a lot more damage. More plants, more biomass, less flea beetle damage. It's really as simple as that. So there, there's the added benefit of having correct fertility level uh, with added biomass for helping manage flea beetles and getting them through that initial flea beetle pressure. Then we, uh, from there, we move up to our 100% uh, our rate. And we're targeting 65 bushel per acre here. And we're using a base assumption of three pounds of nitrogen per bushel. So this is all in at, at this rate. And again, you can see a little response here. Uh, this uh, urea is placed, the bulk of our nitrogen is placed mid-row banded. So that actually takes a while for the plants to get to it, but it's tapping into the uh, nitrogen now and the crop's moving along. So uh, we go up from there to 125 and 150% of target. And our goal is to generate a curve and uh, yield response to the nitrogen levels. And we want to look at that for two reasons I mentioned already. One, generate a nitrogen use efficiency curve. And the second is to see, is there a difference in the nitrogen utilization and the efficiency of some different hybrids? So that's why we got three different hybrids in the trial. So it'll be a really amazing trial to follow during the season because we're soil sampling uh, early and mid season as well as final, uh, a final soil sample. And we're going to be doing protein on all the plots so we can get do a mass balance, get an understanding of how well each of the hybrids has utilized the nitrogen and uh, uh, hopefully update our understanding of nitrogen use efficiency in canola.